AutoCAD has undergone numerous improvements over the years, and Autodesk keeps looking for nuances that help the user experience. There are two features of the interface that MEP users can really benefit from, for both how the screen looks and how commands include visual effects. In this lesson, you can learn how to take advantage of them on your projects. Place your cursor over the command line and right-click. Choose Options from the Flyout menu. The Options dialog box opens. Select the Display tab if it's not the current tab. In the Windows Elements section, there's a setting for color schemes. There are two options. Select Dark. Click OK to close the dialog. Note how the interface changes to a dark color scheme. This affects the ribbon, the quick access toolbar, all of the palettes, the status bar, and the surrounding outline of the program. Return to the Options dialog. Change this setting back to Light, and then click Apply. You can make this change without leaving the Options dialog. Choose the color scheme that's the easiest on your eyes. Next, change to the Selection tab. Under the Preview section, there is an option for Command Preview. Make sure this is selected and click OK to close the dialog. From the command line, type Erase. Press Enter to start the command. Autodesk has improved how items appear graphically on the screen. When your cursor is moved over an object, the item will glow. When the Erase command is active, a red X will appear next to the cursor, letting you know you're using the Erase command. Press Escape to clear the command. Next, select a duct segment. Select the plus sign grip to add more duct to the run. As you drag, a dashed line appears. This indicates an extension of the object. While the line may be slightly off angle, it's always linked to the cursor location. Other tools, such as the compass, will still force linear items such as duct to stay at specific angles. This is simply a preview of where the duct is going. Press Escape to stop the command. On the command line, type Copy and press Enter. Select a duct segment and press Enter. As you drag the cursor up the screen, you'll see the copy icon appear as a pair of overlapping circles adjacent to the cursor. The preview appears at different points within a command, but this helps you differentiate between a copy and a move command. Autodesk is continually working on improving the customer experience. Try these tools out and see if they improve your work environment.